we're going to start this again. Okay, so let's go add this. We're going to add in IDs for people. So we're going to add in a parameter called ID. So we're going to make it as a parameter. This will be a little bit cleaner way to do it. And it's going to be an integer. It's no use giving people something more fancy than that. It's going to be an integer. Okay? And it's going to start at zero, and it's going to go as far up as we have new people in the population. And never, never is a given integer going to be reused. Never is one integer going to be reused. If this person's zero, there's never going to be another person zero. That's it. So we can put in our database as person zero. We know it's the same person all the way through. Is that good? Okay. So how are we going to realize this? It's an integer. Sounds great. How are we going to do this? Go up to main. We're going to create the equivalent of a ticket system. So when you come into that state office or whatever and you take that little ticket thing, come in for blood work, you take that little ticket, it says you're person number 35. That's what we're going to do, but we're never going to reuse those numbers day after day. They're always going to give out a new number. So how are we going to do this? Here we're going to add a variable, ladies and gentlemen, a variable called next ID. This is the next ID to be given out. This is in, ma in main. That, that parameter was in person. The ID is, the next ID is in main, and it's an integer. Okay? It's the next ID we're going to be given out. We're going to be given each successive one to a person. Now, um, by putting it there, how many of these are there going to be? How many in the whole model, there's going to be how many next IDs? One. Single one. Single one. Okay? Okay, this is great. Now, in population, see where it says ID? We're going to put next ID plus plus. What does that do? What does that plus plus do? It adds one to its whatever value it has. Okay? Whatever value it has now, it's going to add one to it. Hmm? And it's going to be going through each person in the population. Going to go through the very first person. It's going to draw from the uniform distribution, and it's going to evaluate this expression next ID. It's going to get a number, and it's going to increment next ID. It's going to go through the next person, going to draw a number, and increment next ID. Now, the one thing I haven't done, which I need to do, we need to clean up after ourselves, Next ID needs to start at what value? Let's start at zero. Uh, that would, that's true to a computer scientist's heart. Mathematicians tend to start things at one. And there's a little bit, a wee bit of tension um, the, the, between the two, uh, the, the, the two disciplines as far as that. Um, uh, so, okay, this, this is good. Um, and now, well, I have these birth arrivals going on, and so now I have to specify the ID as well, okay? Um, uh, when I and I'll do main dot next ID plus plus. There we go. To add the next person into the population. Okay. So now we have a little model. We have birth arrivals. Um, oops. Hey, hey, what, main cannot be resolved. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, birth arrivals go in here. It's just next ID plus plus. Sorry. What am I doing? Next for birth arrivals. If we have birth arrivals going on. We add them to the population with the current time as their birth time, and next ID, we just give them the next ID, and we increment that. So this actually takes the current value of the ID, and then it increments it right after we've taken it. It's like taking that value from the ticker tape, but now the new one that sticks out is, a, is the one plus that. Hmm? You take it, you take number 100 from that little thing, and it now sticks out 101. Take number one or one, sticks out number two, one or two. Okay, there we go. Can we run this thing? Well, first of all, let's compile it. Boom, it's compiled. Now let's run it. Let's let's run it for the simulation with lots of people in it. Okay, I'm going to run it, and I'm not so interested in the aging now, so I'm going to freeze it, and I'm going to go down and look at each person in the population. Here's person zero. Here's person one. Here's person two, here's person three, person four, and I'm going to run this thing, I'm going to run this thing till the cows come home, okay? I'm going to run it, time is passing, things are, are moving on, all these things are passing, the population is probably getting very, very large, um, it's, we've got hundreds of people in the population, it looks like the rings of Saturn. 
coming out, right? As people are aging, we're not distributing around the population. There's 700 people. Let's go see what the IDs are. That's because some people have died, and it never reuses the ID. Some people have passed away, and it's still keeping the IDs. So it's not reusing any IDs. And so if we looked at the highest population member, let's look at population 681, and, and they've got an ID of 2,902. That's many, that, so there have been 2,903 people, because there's person zero, um, in the population so far. If it were zero and one, there'd be two people. So if it's, if the latest, so if the max ID was one, there have been two people. If the max, if the, if the max ID here is, is 2902, there have probably been 2903 people. Although there are people possible, there are people more than that. Let's go up and look at Maine. Let's go look down Maine and, and let's go look with the next ID. It's actually, it's, it's handed out 2903 IDs. And hence the next one to be taken, 2904. Okay, yes, uh, Steve. You would ask. Okay. Okay. So, folks, does this make sense? By the way, why am I seeing the rings of Saturn here? I thought they like it. Because I didn't light people out. To, to lay them out randomly as we add them in, we have to do that whole thing with adding them to the population. Instead of having Maine light them out, we have to say, no thanks, Maine. We'll lay them out ourselves. And I'll, I'll go do this just so you can see how it's done. Again, and I'd go to population, and now, now we, we say we want to specify it. There should be laid out at this uniform, uniform location between 0 and 500. Um, there we go. Oops. Uh, and there we go. And, and now they, we won't see the rings of Saturn, beautiful though they are. Um, and uh, Instead, we'll, we'll get people added in. Look at all those babies being born. Um, and you can see the next ID is going up as it's handing out things, as those babies are being, conceptually, we've imposed a social security number, right? And it's being handed out left and right, and it's not being reused, and it, it keeps, on, keeps on rising here, okay? Well, it looks a little bit like a puddle, right? Do you ever get rain here in North Carolina? Yeah, so, so you recognize that pat sort of pattern, right? Um, um, okay, anyway, um, so we've seen two things. We've seen, we've seen continuous, well, we've seen three things, really, folks. A little bit of a retrospective, we'll break for lunch. Um, we've seen, uh, so I'm going to stop this continuous ID.